and welcome again to discovery vlog with me glory i hope you've been enjoying the vlog so far um today i'm going to be talking about something that is personal to me okay if you've ever read any of my articles on bella niger you know i'm a girl who's in love with love and i've been chasing love for a very very long time and so that means that I've had um, one, two, three, four really, really bad breakup situations. So, okay, so how do you, how have I been recovering from all these failed, I mean, when you say failed relationships, they sound so harsh. <laughs> okay, but basically yeah, what I'm trying to say is, I think today I just want to discuss and maybe share with you and hopefully you share with me as well, some of the ways I've recovered from my breakups. Now, the first one is, for me in general, I think that, I think heartbreak is a very, it's a very delicate situation. For headaches and every other kind of pain in the world, there's medication, right? Panadol, or, uh, whatever, you know. Heartbreak, there is no medication, but it's, it is a physical pain. Like you literally feel your insides shaking and tearing apart. So, but there's no medicine for it. Um, so for me, what I realized is the first one, the first step is, what I've always done is just allow myself to feel the pain. Because I can't remember who said this, but pain demands to be felt. I think when you when you try and skirt away from it, or when you try and substitute, you know, that pain for something else, that's when you get in. You could get into different kinds of addictions or different other, even worse issues than heartbreak itself. Um, so what I've always done is I just allow myself cry. I'm not talking about a small cry. Though. I cry. I remember one of my relationships. Ha! <sighs> he was not the one, basically. And I would just, at 2 a.m., I would just call my parents and I'd be crying on the phone. I would say, no, hello, no, hi, just, ah. And my parents, would, they would just be quiet and they'd just be listening to me. And they would, my, mom, my mom used to say, cry, cry, understand, just cry. So literally, if you need to, just cry, it's okay. But then after crying, the next step is move on. Now, you might not agree with me, but me, I'm a deleter. Ah. I don't care if your sister was my friend, if your cousin's brother's friend sold me a shirt, be all of you, your family, I'm deleting all. No more, you are not on my BB social media. I don't want to know what you had for breakfast. I don't want to know, I don't want to know whose birthday it is in your family. I don't want to know nothing. Delete, I delete. Some people, they're like, no, you know, it's not it's childish. It's not mature. I'm a child. I'm a baby. Delete all. That's for me. Because I just think that, I mean, really, if you packed up from a house, Will you, every day, will you be driving by the house? Oh, this, this person that moved in has changed the paint. Oh, this, mm, mm You move on. So for me, one of the ways I move on is from, is cutting all communication. It's like a surgical procedure. You slice it clean. After you've done that, the next step now is to find yourself. I know, I feel like in every vlog, I always talk about this finding yourself, but maybe it's because that's, that's where I am now in my life. I'm finding myself, and I think it's important that other people do it as well. But I think that, especially when you've been in long-term relationships, you let go of parts of yourself. Maybe because you're trying to compromise on something, or maybe because you've, you've not had time to experience certain things because your partner didn't like it, or you spent so much time with him that you didn't have time to discover other parts of yourself or of life. So try, if, you, if you've been eating scrambled eggs, because that's the only thing he used to eat in the morning, try boiled. Like, try new things, you know, and that would help you because if every time people went to a particular ice cream joint, every time you pass there, you start crying again. Nobody will give you, say, Madam, your money is 2,000 naira, you start crying. They won't understand. They'll be like, I can't you afford the ice cream? But it's because memories. So try new things. So that's another way of moving on and separating from that relationship. Then, I mean, it goes without saying that you have to surround yourself with love. Because obviously, when you, when you, when you go through heartbreak, the feelings of rejection and low self-esteem issues that kind of they attack you. Oh, you, nobody will love you. You are going to be single forever. In fact, just know that. No, 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 I'm only joking. But really, you feel like, you feel rejected. Even if the relationship was you that ended it, sometimes you feel like as if, you know, what is wrong with me? Can't I just make something work? So it's, it's always good to be with people that love you so that you remember that you are lovable and you are deserving of good things, which you obviously are. So um, once, once you're able to surround yourself with love, remind yourself, and you've, you've kind of, you know, done that surgical procedure of cutting clean, the next step is to forgive and forget. Yes. Uh, even if he cheated on you, he married somebody else. Uh, 
you caught him doing something he shouldn't be doing. He lied about his, uh, his age, whatever it is that led to the breakup. Forgive and forget. He's a human being, that's the truth. He's made mistakes. You have also made mistakes. And you're not forgiving him just for, and if you're, or if you're a guy, you're not forgiving her just because you, know, you have to forgive the person. But for yourself, you have, literally, you cannot say that. Personally, that's what I believe. I, I don't think you can, you can say that you've forgiven, so, you've, you've let go of a situation until you've actually forgiven the person. So forgive the person, forgive yourself as well. Were you the one that, you know, caused the, the demise of the relationship? Forgive yourself as well and move on. And then me, I always say, trust God, right? Everything is turn by turn. So if you feel like you've been in this single game for a while, or as if you know you thought it was the one and it didn't turn out that way, you know, just trust God that your own time is coming. It's very important because that's the only way you're going to have, you know, faith in yourself faith in that you will actually find a love again a lot of women especially me when i uh when i go through a breakup you would think amageddon like the world has ended because i just feel like as if oh my god so you mean i'm going to meet somebody again and be like oh so what do you like oh i like the i can't even in fact anyway that's a topic for another discovery but literally you just have to trust god for your own time and it's coming i say that to myself all the time glory your time is coming <laughs> okay but finally look forward to the future um, you know, it's not the end of the world, it's a failed relationship, it didn't quite work out, but there's always tomorrow, that's what I tell myself, there, no matter what you're going through today, there's always tomorrow, and there's next tomorrow, and there's the next, next, next tomorrow, and there's next week, so look forward to your future, you know, um, I don't know, I hope this has been helpful to somebody, I hope, um, I hope you learned something, so what about you, have you been through a bad breakup, did it feel like you're going to die? You know, did you feel like it was the end of the world? What did you do to recover? Uh, maybe you can share with me in the comment section. You can always email me on glory at inspiredbyglory.com. Um, please check out our blog for other interesting articles, relationship articles and other um, inspiring articles. You can also subscribe to our YouTube page, Inspired by Glory. Um, thank you and I hope you keep watching our discovery vlog and you enjoy it and you leave loads of comments and you send me emails. Bye!